What's going on everybody? Josh started RainGutterBusiness.com. Today we are doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to put a rain chain on a box gutter. Stay tuned. I like to leave plenty of slack on the bottom of these rain chains. Uh, we use 3 8 just raw chain. It rusts and it kind of turns a cool color patinas with, you know, looks good with timber framing and stuff like that. So uh, this is just rough grade. So I like to leave an extra like foot on the ground. So for one, it doesn't just dangle around and two, then they can cut it up if they want to in the future. So we'll start by getting our measurement here. Okay, so we've got 10 foot, three inches. We'll just go 11 foot. So we'll cut two 11 footers and uh, throw these in. What we have is a two and three eighths drop or outlet that I put in the bottom of these gutters. And so what I'm gonna do is glue that in. Then when that glue is still wet, I'm gonna put the chain up, slide this through the top link of the chain, set it into the glue. That way everything stays in place and uh, it'll be a strong, strong setup. So one thing to mention, um, ground anchors, what I've done in the past is usually I just let the landscapers deal with it and they usually don't do anything. So it changes just there. But one thing you can do if you're living in a windy area or something, dig a little hole and I've bought those uh, dog anchors that you can screw into the ground and then tie your dog leash to. So dig like a six, eight inch hole, screw that dog anchor dog leash anchor into the ground under grade and then wire tie this thing or carabiner it to the dog anchor and cover it up it makes it look like the chain's going right into the ground and it won't won't move around on you so one way to do it so now you know step by step how to hang a rain chain uh, we got other videos on these rain chains too if you guys want to know a little more in-depth information but thanks for watching comment like subscribe see you on the next one